Good morning guys and welcome back to another video where today it is getting darker behind me. One second. I'm going to be using a lot of these today. Good morning guys, welcome back to another video where today is one of, we're doing probably the most anticipated thing uh, since getting the RX-7 FD on the channel and that is going over the whole car and we're going to be detailing the entire thing from top to bottom. Now if you guys saw the other day, uh, we went through the entire interior, it was covered in tobacco, covered in a whole lot of stuff, so we got rid of all of that, carpet shampooed all the seats and the thing came up absolutely amazingly. Looks it looks beautiful. So uh, so today we're getting stuck into the rest of the car, which is the exterior, the silver paintwork. It looks amazing. Even though it's probably not my first choice in paint for this car, it is definitely a beautiful color. Um, so we're going to do our best to fix it all up today. I have a whole bunch of products here ready to go, including a dual action polisher and everything else as well. Um, so yeah, today I'm going to basically take you guys through all the steps that I would normally do when I am first uh, washing my car or detailing my car. Or any new car that I buy, which has been three now that I've actually spent the time doing this on. <laughs> but anyway guys, although this is probably the most satisfying video that I ever do on this channel, it is also very scary before you start doing it because when you first jump on and first wash your car is when you start noticing uh, stuff about it that you don't, know, don't necessarily like. like the R33, for example, when I was polishing it, uh, dents started to show themselves, you know, cracks in the paint started to appear, parts where it had been bogged up and fixed started to appear. Now, I've gone pretty much over this entire FD and had a look at everything, but I know that there's going to be some little bits in here that I'm going to get a little bit worried about, so please bear with me, guys. Today, we are hopefully going to be making this thing one of the cleaner FDs on YouTube. So, uh, yeah, I hope you guys sit back, grab a drink, and enjoy this hopefully very satisfying episode of Zach Bordy cleaning up his FDRX7, yay, woo! So guys, we probably can't do much talking outside because it is very windy at the moment and my camera doesn't have anything to stop the wind, but if you guys are new around here, this is my FDRX7 right here. It's a Series 8 RS version. It is absolutely amazing. So far, we haven't really done much to it. We've set up the coilovers the way that I want. These are MCO purples. Um, we put the white wheels on it, the Koya Drift Techs that actually look really nice on it. We've also put a short shifter in and we've given the car an alignment. And trust me, all of those things right there fixed up every single thing about this car, just apart from that little cooling issue. I have some parts on order ready to go into it thermostat and two more radiator caps so hopefully we can fix that cooling issue but I've also been chatting to a whole lot of people and we have some other plans in store for if that doesn't work out. The interior on this car came up absolutely amazingly I don't know if you guys can see but it is just so beautiful in here looks amazing um, there is obviously some little things in there that came up with some scratches but that was expected the car's got 66,000 k's and it is 20 years old now also this seat has a fair amount of ripping in it but we're going to get that reupholstered and plus a little patch that sort of goes over there as well. Um, but yeah, it's going to be really cool. Also, because I didn't clear coat my wheels, um, yeah, I also made the mistake. When I was getting the thing aligned, um, unfortunately, some brake dust and everything else sort of sat into the white paint. So I'm going to be able to polish all this out today. Should make the wheels a little bit brighter as well. Um, but yeah, I'm pretty sure I'm going to be changing up these white wheels pretty soon as well. But we'll sort that out later. Rightio, so first of all, we're gonna give this car a very basic once over. So I have, uh, first of all, for wheels, I have some purge right here. Um, the wheels are white and they've just been freshly painted. So one layer of purge should be enough. Um, I've also got a whole bunch of microfibers here. So I got my microfiber towel, plus just some random microfibers that I bought and bought from Costco. Um, I also have a clay bar. I've got to quickly do a clay bar treatment over the entire car before I start polishing it. I've got a rinse bucket, a uh, wash bucket, and then I also have this right here, which is my Avalanche Snow Foam. Absolutely love this stuff. Um, snow Foam thing, I'm gonna have to quickly grab the, uh, the gun from up on the shelf. Um, then I also got my Karcher K3. Um, I'm pretty sure that's everything I've, oh, I need some wash and a microfiber pad. Beautiful, we'll wash the paint with this right here. And then probably just use some more Avalanche as the wash as well, which uh, should foam up really nicely and get rid of all that dirt. Step number one, I clean these wheels with some purge. This stuff is absolutely amazing. It's pretty much like a deionizer. Smells like crap. Gets rid of all the brake dust on the car. So let's quickly go do that.
All right, so now is my favorite bit. Pretty much anyone's favorite bit of washing their car, and that's snow foam. If you guys don't have a snow foam, it is so worth it. I'm gonna quickly go over the entire car, let it rinse off, and then I'm gonna do the two bucket method, and then I'm gonna go back over and rinse the car with a snow foam again, and uh, go with a clay bar over the entire car. So uh, I'm gonna chuck that all in a massive big time lapse, so you guys will see all of that now. So once again, snow foam, let it sit, rinse, two bucket, rinse, snow foam, clay bar, rinse. <laughs> Let's get into it. So, car's back inside now, and it was um, it was actually pretty good outside, but after you sort of take off all the, the layers of whatever is on here, it really starts to sheet up. Um, so, one of the main things as to why this time I decided to do a clay bar on the entire thing, you can see it's like it's almost it's perfectly smooth at the moment, is if you have this brand new block of clay right here. But the main reason clay bar especially is that right there is my old clay. As you can see, slightly discolored, um, but then this right here is the brand new clay So you guys can see just how much crap is in there and if I start sort of unfolding this real quick You guys can see sort of how much gunk is in there and I did keep kneading this over it actually wasn't overly bad but You can see how much gunk is in there compared to the brand new clay We don't want that being polished up through the paintwork. Right here guys. Oh, you can't see me. Sorry. Um, so at this current point in time, the car's all dried and it looks fantastic. This is actually the first time it's been in my garage where it's actually been clean. Riley over there is having a big drink of uh, drink of uh, cordial juice. Um, I reckon all cordial in 2021. <laughs> I don't know if you guys know, but I've, I've decided to not drink this year. <coughs> These guys are saying that I can't do it. 100% I reckon I can. I never really liked it anyway. Hmm? We will tempt you. I know. I know you guys will. <laughs> But no guys, it looks amazing. Um, there is a few little imperfections that I did find. Um, one of them being there's a dent in the roof there, which should be pretty easy to pull out, but there's definitely something that I want to fix because for me, the whole, like the roof has a massive big dip in the middle. And if it was on like the Falcon, I'd be okay with it. But on this car, especially with the curves and lines that this thing has, having that big dent sort of right there is a little bit annoying. And then coming down the front here, we have a few little scratches just across the front bar there and then also this little chip right here and looks like it's also been scratched up around the outside so I don't know what's happened there um, whether they've even tried to like I don't know exactly what's happened there but it looks terrible so either way I'm going to sort that out as much as I can um, maybe even potentially try paint this um, soon when I do the front lip yeah I'm going to start taping everything off um, and that way we don't get any uh, polish on any of the 
polish on any more of the plastics than it already has because as you guys can see there's already polish all the way up through here um, maybe see if I can take these indicators out I have no idea how they do but it looks like they just pull to be honest they might even do that but who knows and then also have a polisher here with a yellow pad which is a medium cut and also have some Meguiar's cutting compound here I've actually started to like the Meguiar's cutting com compound sorry um, I did have a couple of other ones up here like I had the uh, I had a medium cut from um, Menzerna which I actually kind of liked and then also the super finish as well um, but yes I was really going to try this medium cut, but I actually ran out of it completely. So, uh, yeah, we're going to see how this other one goes. And it's actually not overly bad. I'll see if I can show you guys some of the swirls that are in it. I don't know how well you guys are going to be able to see this, but this is basically the extent of the swirls. It's not overly bad. Um, and I do plan on going a little bit further on in the future. And then also changing the color of this car. But we are going to try and get rid of all of those swirls. So, I'm going to make this thing look a whole lot nicer. It's going to be beautiful. Let's get straight into... Uh, Straight into tape. Right, so the car is all taped up and ready to go. So as for the lights at the back, I'm also going to be polishing these, but I'm just not going to be going as hard. Um, and I'm going to try and, at the end of this, take it back out and uh, go through all the back of these and get all the polish out anyway. So um, not too stressed about that. Yeah, anyway, I've also taken out random little things like the indicator. So that's all going to be gone. I've covered up all the plastics, um, so that way I don't get any polish on them all. Um, leaving aside these ones here, because these are actually painted, so I'm going to do this polish over them at the same time, and then I'll just clean them out in due course. Um, I'm also going to take these plates off as well when I get to the front. So yeah, it looks like we are ready to go. Um, so I think I'm going to start on either the roof or the bonnet just to get some uh, measurements and just make sure that I'm not going too coarse or too light. Um, because this has a fair bit of etching, like water etching as well, if like you guys can see, so. Pad is all primed. Let's get going. Rightio, this bonnet is certainly looking a whole lot better. We're not just done just yet. We also have to go uh, over with a finer compound as well to uh, finalize that gloss in there. But it is very interesting. Um, the orange peel does not match the rest of the car and it's it's better in some locations like down the very front than it is over here. And uh, I don't know how well you guys are going to be able to see but you can you can kind of see how patchy that silver is. Um, whether it may have even potentially been blended from the front bar up um, because it has been cracking all the way through here. Um, so it could just mean that it's had a front bar respray and they've blended it up through the bonnet. Um, but yeah, it is a little bit patchy. Once again, as I said, this color isn't going to be staying for long, hopefully. So anyway, um, now for the roof. The roof is going to be the most interesting part because it hasn't been resprayed. It's got a lot of water etching. I'm going to have to stay up here for a fairly long time, I could imagine. So uh, yeah, let's get into it. This should be a whole lot of fun. It's probably going to be one of the better um, before and afters you guys are going to see. So um, but yeah, that is looking actually so much nicer. So hi, Maxi. Wave. I'm about to sneeze. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, our gun is a, our, our snow foams are pretty interesting. So, let's get to the roof. This is something that I definitely thought would happen with this water etching. Um, it gets a lot worse before it gets a lot better. I don't know if you guys can see much in that, but that's sort of where I've done it. You can still see on the corner of that light there is a little bit of water etching still there. Which sucks, but I knew it was going to happen. It's going to get a lot worse before it gets better, because obviously it was hazed over with the water etching, and now polishing it, it's made everything but the water etching shiny. <laughs> and it's going to take a little bit to get that etching out. So. Um, keep going over the roof a fair few times, we'll get all this etching out. Because, um, yeah, as you can see, you can't see it anywhere near as bad there. Jump into the middle, and it gets a whole lot worse. So, uh, yeah, keep going at that, and hopefully, we get all that etching out. Round two, it's definitely come up a little bit better. Um, so, yeah, I'm gonna keep going at it. But, uh, oh man, it's gonna take forever to get this roof done. And obviously, I don't know how thick the paint is, I don't wanna go through it. So, I might have to settle with just having a little bit of. Uh, a little bit of clear coat damage, but yeah, it's a bit unfortunate. It's very shiny now, though. It is very shiny.
work came out so nicely. So good. The swirls in this car are coming out so easily. Looks amazing. Apart from that little one there, it's freaking amazing. I love the colour too. It's actually making me kind of want to keep it. <laughs> Alright, so so far I've been working on this car for the best part of Saturday and it has taken a very long time. <laughs> I'm not even up to the polishing part yet. I've done the bonnet, I've done the bonnet, uh, half the roof, the front guard, and that's only stage one. And I've been on it now for probably about three hours just trying to get rid of all of those, uh, all of those horrible swirls as well as all that water etching that's in the roof. But it's definitely coming out a whole lot nicer as well. Um, but this is turning into a project that I thought was, well, it's definitely gonna take longer than a day. So this video is probably gonna go up into a couple of parts, um, which you guys will see. So yeah, I hope you guys are keen for the end result. I'm gonna keep working on this thing today and show you guys everything that we get done today. Um, Cause the day is still not over. We still have light. Um, so yeah, it's looking so good though. Like, look how shiny this thing is. Look at the, look at the roof, look at the roof. That is crazy. And the, uh, the bonnet is looking insane too. So uh, yeah, we'll keep working at it. Keep shining this thing up. This thing is gonna look so amazing. Probably we'll be able to start doing the fine cut this afternoon. I have uh, this up here, which you, I have this up here, which I'm gonna be using. This is a, uh, a super finish. And then I'm actually gonna go a completely different route to a lot of uh, other cars that I've done. Um, usually on the Skyline, it's as simple as using this stuff here. Um, Bowden's Wet Dreams, I absolutely love this stuff. I don't know if it even protects the paint, but it just gives it a nice like sort of hydrophobic uh, finish. So I was having a chat to one of my good friends um, down in Adelaide. You guys might know his channel, Focus on Detailing. So he's actually been doing a little bit of research in terms of Bowden's products. Now, I've used a couple of Bowden's products and I love the fact that they are a Sunny Coast based brand um, super close to me and I use a lot of their products like I use their lazy wax I actually have heaps I always have heaps of lazy wax in stock um, plus wet dreams plus paint cleanse and restore for my headlights um, all those products I use a lot of the time so I'm actually going to try out some of their products to coat this car um, their beaut beads uh, paste wax and then also bead machine I'm going to give it a little bit of a shot and uh, see if I can get this thing nice and waxed up I kind of like the idea of it being waxed instead of ceramic coated because I enjoy looking after paintwork and after I did the Falcon and did the ceramic coating I kind of then started to really worry about it and worry if I was going to wreck it and use the wrong products so at least now I know what's sort of going on the car and I can sort of use anything else on it. Alright guys so I just having a little bit of a test and got carried away you can kind of, oh god buddy, polish all over me. Um, I took a step down to the next cutting compound that we're going to be using so you guys can see on my polisher I have a black Shine Mate pad now, and so I'm pairing that with some of this Menzerna Super Finish. So this is one of their finer compounds, which I think they have a little, they have a little thing right there. There we go, somewhere there. Yeah. So it's a very, very light cut, um, but mainly just a finishing compound. So I've been just smashing it over this car, and it's literally taking me no time whatsoever. And if you can see, it's coming up so incredible. Um, I will probably have to go away with some alcohol just to make sure I get rid of all the residual stuff because this stuff, there's so, it gets just gets everywhere. Um, so yeah, have to wash the car once again, as you can see. Um, but before I do that, I really want to go over and I'm going to go um, with Mr. Black from Bowden's, go over all these, uh, paint up these as well. I'm also going to have to move this one around because it's been hitting the bonnet there and it's actually, um, actually damaged the bonnet. So I'm going to sort that out too. Um, also, after looking at this sort of bonnet more carefully, it has been resprayed, but it looks like it's only been up to that certain point there, which leads me to believe that the front bar has had a respray at one point, which would also tie in with the fact that, I don't know if you guys will be able to see it, but there is very slight cracks in the paint all the way down these lights as well. Um, so yeah, it would lead me to believe that the front end has had a whack at some point. It's got a new front bar on it that's okay um, because as I said we will be changing the color so I've done the roof I've done the bonnet I've also done the boot and the wing as well with the new finishing compound as yeah and just and just check that out it's looking so glossy at the moment I still gotta just get some of the uh, some of the polish off and this entire side here has been done so uh, yeah I'm gonna finish 
and this entire side up until the front quarter has been done. So let's quickly finish all this off, get it all wiped up, and then um, tomorrow we can go over to Autobahn and go grab some Bowden's uh, waxes and stuff like that. So it's gonna be really nice. Man, I'm stoked with the outcome of this car. I can't wait to see it out in the sun tomorrow. It's gonna be amazing. Radio guys, so the whole car has now been polished. So now comes the next step of just getting out the garage. Um, I actually finished this really, really early. Oh, I finished it earlier than I thought I would. So I'm stoked. I'm gonna have to reverse it out now so I can give uh, it another little snow foam, rinse off, and then we can dry it all up. Um, simply because it's just so much dust over the entire car now. Um, and if I was along and wax it all, um, I may run the risk of scratching it again. So. Um, before I go out and do that stuff tomorrow, I'll give it a once over. Um, and this way, also, um, if it's snow foam, wipe everything down with the microfiber. It'll also get rid of all of the uh, all of the contamination from the from the last of the uh, the polish. So let's quickly get it out. Uh, take all this uh, tape off, snow foam it real quick, uh, wipe it down, and then we can rinse it off and dry it up. And that'll be me done for today. And then uh, tomorrow, I'm going to go ahead and uh, paint all these. Uh, also going to put some Mr. Black on the uh, trims there. And then also go around all these trims here. Um, all the rubbers around the back, I'll, uh, I'll restore. And um, also, we'll polish up that tip tomorrow as well. So yeah, let's quickly get her out. Man, it's going to be fun. Have a look how much better this is already beating up. Wow. God damn it. And that's only just the start. Like, we haven't even put anything on the paint to protect it yet. <sighs> just ignore the side mirrors and just appreciate this thing. I still pinch myself every single time I look at it. Oh my god. It's so beautiful. Well guys, that is going to cover day one of doing the beautiful RX-7. Man, I've just been like, I've just been staring at it, taking photos. It's so pretty. I can't wait to get like a diffuser and lip and drop it a little bit and get some good wheels on it. Man, it's going to be an amazing car, but ah, uh, man, I've learned so much about the car today. So many little things that I really want to fix up. So, um, yeah, no, I'm stoked. Uh, I started it at about 9 o'clock. It's currently around about 6. Oh, we're having a video coming out tonight. That's sick. Um, yeah, 9 o'clock. It's currently 6. And uh, so, yeah, I had a big day on this thing. Nine hours. Um, that was washing it and pretty much paint correcting it for the entire day. I didn't even think I stopped. I just, <laughs> just kept going at it. I love this thing so much. Um, one thing I will admit, I've never actually done a silver car before. Silver does hide a lot of stuff. So... I noticed it was over very quickly. The paint wasn't in overly bad condition um, and there wasn't very many scratches in it that I really had to try and get out. So maybe I just got lucky, but uh, I think the silver is just hiding some little issues down and deep inside of it. So I don't know, I'm probably gonna find them under a certain type of lighting and then I don't know, I'll, I'll work at it from there. But 
I actually went really quickly today. Two days for a new car detail is pretty good for me. So, um, yeah, tomorrow we're going to protect this paint. I'm going to chuck it back in the garage. Hopefully it doesn't get too dusty overnight and then just wipe it down in the morning. Um, but, yeah, we'll hopefully put a Bowden's coating on it. really want to try out some of Bowden's stuff because, once again, they are local to me. They're just up in Sunny Coast, um, which is about an hour's drive for, from where I am. So, um... Yeah, I'm stoked. Yeah, I'm keen to I'm keen to see how this thing beads up. If it beads up that nicely already, I can't wait until it has a wax over it. So, yeah. Anyway, guys, thank you so much everyone for watching. I really do appreciate it, and I'll see you all in the next one. Peace.